Hey everyone, my name is David Sala. I'm a professional photographer and here are 22 tips for better photos in 2022. Before we start, tip number zero is to get to a place of feel good, look good. This might be obvious, but it's so important. Tip number one, shoot from a lower angle with a higher tilt to create more drama in your photos. Tip number two, shoot from a higher angle tilted down for any seated lounge photos. Tip number three, use the zoom feature on your phone to avoid any distortion on closer shots. Tip number four, utilize the brightness feature on your phone. We can do so by tapping on the screen and then bringing up that slider. You can also lock by holding onto the square button. We want to do this because our phone auto adjusts our brightness. Typically, it makes it brighter than it needs to be. So what you want to do is bring it down just a touch. Tip number five, take advantage of the beautiful soft lighting from windows. Windows during the daytime disperses the light that's coming in and makes this beautiful soft light. You're never going to go wrong with that. Tip number six, golden hour is still prime time for photos in 2022. Golden hours aren't just great because of the warmth of the light. It also is great because of the positioning of the lights hits more towards us versus this higher angle where it creates these dramatic shadows under our eyes, which isn't always the most flattering. However, tip number seven, shooting in midday has its own aesthetic. Utilize the edgy midday sunlight for dramatic moody photos. Tip number eight, if you are going to shoot midday, pay attention to the shadows. It would be a great idea to tilt up towards the sun to avoid those panda eyes like I mentioned earlier. Even as an example over here, my eyes are shaded, but if I tilt up, voila. Tip number nine, if you don't want to pay attention to shadows too much, just shoot under a shade and it will always be a beautiful photo. Tip number nine, enable and utilize the nine grid feature on your phone. For full body pictures, I like to keep my subject on the bottom two boxes and keep that top row for the sky or buildings or any backgrounds. For mid body shot, I like to line up the eye with the top horizontal line. Tip number 11, when in doubt, a clean neutral background will always work. Tip number 12, be aware and avoid horizontal or vertical lines in the background of your subject, such as telephone lines or fences. Tip number 13, use your hand to check where the light is coming from if you're not sure where the light is coming from. So I like to place my hand like this, and you can see the light is hitting this. But once I turn my hand, you're gonna notice there's a lot of shadows on this side, so you can very safely determine where the light is coming from. Tip number 14, elongate your legs to elongate your legs. <laughs> Extend your leg to elongate and look taller in your photos. Pointing your toes and pointing your whole leg towards the camera will be a great idea. Tip number 15, accentuate your favorite feature by having it closer towards the camera lens. For example, if you want to accentuate your booty because you've been working it out, then you just need to place it towards the camera like so. Vice versa, tip number 16, whatever you're shy about, have it away from the camera. For example, if you're shy about your chest, then you can turn that away from the camera versus having it front and center. Tip number 17, practice moving around when posing. Especially when you have a serious case of feeling awkward or not knowing what to do in front of the camera, I want you to break away from this mindset that posing is just striking a pose and you have to freeze into a pose. Instead, think about just moving and just move think just what do I naturally do when I talk to someone that I'm interested in. Tip number 18, focus on changing one posing point at a time. You're going to realize that changing one of these posing points is going to make a big difference in the whole vibe and essentially making a whole new pose versus thinking we have to change up a drastic... <laughs> You're going to realize changing one of these little points is going to make drastic changes and change up the whole vibe make a whole new pose. Tip number 19, less is more when editing, especially when you're using an app like Visco or Lightroom where you can change the intensity of the filter, practice bringing that down. I like to think of editing as cooking. Think about adding spices versus dumping a whole bag of salt and saying that is tasty. Tip number 20, explore different face angles besides just looking straight at the camera. Especially when taking selfies, we tend to look straight into the camera without knowing that we have all these other beautiful angles available to us. Tip number 21, if you really can't trust your friend to take the right photo for you, have them turn the camera around towards you so it's almost like a walking human tripod and you can see the photo for yourself. And finally, tip number 22, know that you're beautiful no matter what. Your beauty isn't defined by the picture, your beauty comes from within and know that you are inherently beautiful. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you want me to expand on any of these tips to further in-depth videos, please let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Lounged photos.